So my phone blew up. Uh, this is the first video on the new phone, and I probably have to shout because I'm travelling down the road in the wind. And guess what? I've got a headwind again, and I'm heading in the opposite direction. Huh. Anyway, um, I'm having a bit of trouble tuning into my Google account, which is not making life easy. But uh, I've got to say, the bike is running beautifully well. I scored an extra battery for it while I was in Portland at my folks' place. So I left Nelson, I went to Portland, and woke up Monday morning, got a new phone, and I'm heading on the road. I'm hoping to get to Kuroi. Anyway, I'll keep you updated. The owner of this property has got a fence line just totally made up of shoes. Amazing. Ah, uh, the shipwrecked coast. I'm coming into Port Ferry. But my final destination today is Karoi. It's a very Irish looking country around here and as you'd expect, they grow a lot of potatoes. But this is a wonderful piece of the Victorian coastline down here, steeped in history as well. I'll see what I can do to fill you in on a little bit of that. All right. Let's keep going. There's a couple of changes I made to the bike while I was at my in-law's house, my parents' place. Um, but anyway, I'm here at Port Ferry. So, ah, and look at that. I'm at the pub. Of course I am. I'm going to enjoy a beer. This is a beautiful town. And there's a rail trail that goes from here to Kuroi. So I've got to try and find that. I'll ask for some local knowledge. Okay, I've just departed Port Ferry. I was going to go the rail trail, but I'm going to do the rail trail in reverse. I'm going to go from Kuroi back to Port Ferry on another day, uh, probably Wednesday. And we'll experience some fishing. So on that side is the dunes, and over the, that dune there is the ocean. And on this side we have uh, these uh, precious wetlands. And over in the distance there, I don't know if you can see it, a small rise in the land that's a uh, collapsed volcano an ancient volcano and uh, the aboriginal name for it is um, Piquarong and the ancients used to gather there because the volcano collapsed in on itself and formed an island in the middle it filled with water and formed an island and they used to gather there annually for a festival called Tarara where they would trade goods and they would also marry off their young to various tribes to keep the genetic line strong. This, uh, this region of um, Australia is quite unique in uh, the Aboriginal people here um, had farms and stone houses when the white people came. Unfortunately there was a terrible genocide uh, but some of those ancient bloodlines still exist today and uh, yeah, there's plenty of families around here that know all the stories of the, the dream time. All right, let's keep going. The Blarney Stone in Kalani. And this happens to be the oldest pub in Australia, or it was. It burned down about 10 or 15 years ago and they've rebuilt it. And unfortunately now it's just a motel. Still, interesting little piece of history. These, story, these walls could tell some stories, that's for sure. Even about me. I'm on the uh, Port Ferry to Warnable Rail Trail. A few days vanished right here in this little town of Kuroit because, oh my God, I ate a bad boiled egg and ended up having to stay in bed for three days with all kinds of horrible things happening to me. It was shocking. And luckily, my dear friend Deirdre and her daughter and her kids, they all took care of me. Oh my God, it was awful. <laughs> 
But having said that, I had a really great time and a great catch up with them as well. Um, there was the flip side to it. There's a flip side to every coin, let's face it. But I'm glad to be back on the road and I'll be uh, making my daily reports again. So I'm all better now. Thank Christ for that. Camper down. So I've managed to travel about, oh, I think it's uh, about 85 kilometers today to this beautiful little town of Camper Down. Now I think I'm going to hunker down in Camper Down because tomorrow they've got a gale force warning. The winds are going to be 110 kilometers plus, and there's going to be plenty of rain for the next few days. So I'll find somewhere nice here. I think I might have a friend who lives here. I'm going to find out. If not, I think I'll um, uh, book into a caravan park or even a motel, get a comfortable stay, and um, see if I can meet some, lo some locals and learn a bit about the town. All right, see you soon. Well, there's the bike I'm in camper down. And of course, I'm at the pub having a beer with Mr. Donald Grieve. Hey, now, rock on. Uh, Donald and I are old friends and um, <laughs> jeepers, it, it's, been, it's been some years, hasn't it, mate? It's been about 20 years, actually. Yeah, yeah, so, well, Donald... Well, we used to bus go say to Ronnie's. Of course, Ronnie's passed on, though. Yeah, that's right. In Port Ferry. Yeah. Yeah, and, <laughs> and Donald and I, we've made a bit of music together in the past and yeah. had, a, had a good time. Jenny was on the album. One yeah. One of the first albums I made solo. This is true. Yeah. Now Donald has invited me to come and stay with him and his wife Angela for the next couple of days while the, while the weather goes mad, and um, we're gonna we're gonna make some music and have a couple of drams, I guess. Bloody oath. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks, Donald. It's great to see you, brother. Uh, oh. <laughs> All right. Hi, I'm Don. Good mate O'Brien's, who's behind the camera tonight. This is called the Earl of Murray. It's a traditional Scottish song with my own twist to the music. Oh, ye hillands and your lawns, oh, what he you be? They have slain me all of Murray and have laid them on the green. He was a brock and he raised at the rink by the bonny. He meant to be the king And long may his lady Look for the castle now As she sees the air long Come sundering through the town Oh, we be thee to Huntley Oh, war he you be I forbid you bring him with you but forbid you him to slay He was a brock And he read that the ring I the bonny earl of Murray Was a flower within the bar And long may his lady Look for a the castle down As she sees the earl of Murray Come sundering through the town Oh, ye hillands and ye lowlands, oh, what he you be? They have slain the Earl of Murray and have laid him on the green. He was a brock and he reigned at the glove. I, the bonny Earl of Murray, he was the Queen's true love. And long may his lady. Look for a the castle down As she sees the Earl of Murray Come sundering through the town Oh, ye healers and ye lands Oh, what he be They have slain the Earl of Murray And have laid him on the green He was a brock And he raided the roof Oh, the bonny Earl of Murray, he meant to be the king. And 
Long may his lady look frae the castle door, ere she sees the Earl of Murray come sundering through the town. Thanks, Don. So I'm here at Don and Angela's place. There's worse places to be stuck for a few days, I tell you what. Um, and, oh my God, uh, Angela is very talented as well. So hopefully we'll make some great music together over the next couple of days. And, um, uh, yeah, I think we'll probably have a couple of drams as well on the, on the journey. These guys are not only great musicians, they're also very passionate gardeners. Oh my lord, I might be in for a bit of hard yakka while I'm here. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, that's been the last few days. I, obviously I couldn't make a daily report while I was um, busy spewing and pooing and uh, suffering from food poisoning from that silly boiled egg that I ate. Oh my god, that was three days of hell. Anyway, uh, the journey continues ever onward. See you guys tomorrow.